Umrah is one of the best deeds and acts which draw you closer to Allah. When performing Umrah, the pilgrim turns toward the house of Allah with his heart, tongue, limbs, and seeks his mercy and pleasure. The Virtues of Umrah Here are some of the many virtues of Umrah. It cleanses sins and removes poverty and need. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, Perform Hajj and Umrah consecutively, for they remove poverty and sin as the bellows remove impurity from iron. Perform Hajj and Umrah consecutively, for they remove poverty and sin as the bellows remove impurity from iron. Perform Hajj and Umrah consecutively, for they remove poverty and sin as the bellows remove impurity from iron. Repeating Umrah expiates the sins committed between them. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, From one Umrah to the next is an expiation for what was committed between them. From one Umrah to the next is an expiation for what was committed between them. From one Umrah to the next is an expiation for what was committed between them. Umrah in a nutshell. Umrah is an act of worshipping Allah by entering the state of Ihram, performing tawaf around the Kaaba, sa'i between Safa and Marwa, and shaving or trimming your hair. Umrah is an act of worshipping Allah by entering the state of Ihram, performing tawaf around the Kaaba, sa'i between Safa and Marwa, and shaving or trimming your hair. 1. A Muslim enters into the state of Ihram from the place specified for him by Islamic law. He abstains from the prohibitions which he is prohibited from while ihram. A Muslim enters into the state of ihram from the place specified for him by Islamic law. He abstains from the prohibitions which he is prohibited from while ihram. He recites the talbiyah saying, Labbayk Allahumma labbayk, labbayk la sharik laka labbayk, inna alhamda wa ni'mata laka wal mulk la sharik lak, which means, at your service Allah. At your service. At your service, you have no partner. At your service. Truly, all praise, favor, and sovereignty is yours. You have no partner. He recites the talbiyah, saying, Labbayk Allahumma labbayk, Labbayk la sharik laka labbayk, Inna alhamda wa ni'mata laka wal mulk la sharik lak. Which means, at your service, Allah. At your service. At your service, you have no partner. At your service. Truly, all praise, favor, and sovereignty is yours. You have no partner. Then, he goes to the haram, performs tawaf around the Kaaba seven times. With the Kaaba, he's left. He begins at the black stone and ends at the black stone. Then, he goes to the haram, performs tawaf around the Kaaba seven times. With the Kaaba, he's left. He begins at the black stone and ends at the black stone. Then he prays Durakas after completion. He prays Durakas after completion. He heads to Safa and from here he heads towards Marwa. If he reaches Marwa, he has completed one circuit. Then he returns to Safa to complete the second circuit. And so on until he completes seven circuits, ending in Marwa. He heads to Safa and from here he heads towards Marwa. If he reaches Marwa, he has completed one circuit. Then, he returns to Safa to complete the second circuit. And so on, until he completes seven circuits, ending in Marwa. Men shave or trim their hair, and women gather their hair and cut from its ends as much as a fingertip. Thus, Umrah is complete and Ihram ends. Tawaf. Tawaf is an act of worship to Allah in which the Muslim performs tawaf around the Kaaba, worshipping Allah and drawing close to Him according to what He has prescribed. Tawaf. Tawaf is an act of worship to Allah in which the Muslim performs tawaf around the Kaaba, worshipping Allah and drawing close to Him according to what He has prescribed.
The beginning and end of tawaf. The pilgrim performing Hajj or Umrah begins his tawaf from the corner where the black stone is. There is a green sign indicating this on the upper floors. The beginning and end of tawaf. The pilgrim performing Hajj or Umrah begins his tawaf from the corner where the black stone is. There is a green sign indicating this on the upper floors. The pilgrim performing Hajj or Umrah should perform takbir, saying Allahu Akbar in each round when he passes the black stone. In each round when he passes the black stone, the pilgrim is not required to perform takbir exactly at this point. One can perform takbir somewhere near this point. So, if the pilgrim finds himself so, if the pilgrim finds himself past the black stone, he can still perform takbir. The pilgrim performing Hajj or Umrah should perform takbir, saying Allahu Akbar in each round when he passes the black stone. In each round when he passes the black stone, the pilgrim is not required to perform takbir exactly at this point. One can perform takbir somewhere near this point. So, if the pilgrim finds himself so, if the pilgrim finds himself past the black stone, he can still perform takbir. The pilgrim performs takbir and points with his hand facing the black stone, then begins his tawaf with the Kaaba to his left, counterclockwise. Kissing the black stone is a sunnah for those who are able to do so, but this is difficult during the seasons of worship and crowded days. The pilgrim performs takbir and points with his hand facing the black stone, then begins his tawaf with the Kaaba to his left, counterclockwise. Kissing the black stone is a sunnah for those who are able to do so, but this is difficult during the seasons of worship and crowded days. The pilgrim continues performing tawaf, supplicating Allah and praying humbly to him. The pilgrim continues performing tawaf, supplicating Allah and praying humbly to him. When the pilgrim reaches the corner which precedes the black stone, called the Yemeni corner, it is desirable for him to touch it if possible, but this will be difficult during the Hajj season. When the pilgrim reaches the corner which precedes the black stone, called the Yemeni corner, it is desirable for him to touch it if possible, but this will be difficult during the Hajj season. Then, he ends his circuit at the corner of the black stone, which is the place from which he started. Here, he points with his hand and performs takbir, and with this, he has completed one circuit. Then, he ends his circuit at the corner of the black stone, which is the place from which he started. Here, he points with his hand and performs takbir, and with this, he has completed one circuit. He repeats this until he completes seven circuits. He repeats this until he completes seven circuits.